What up, what up, what up, Ace Back people? Alright, we got a walk in cooler here, not cooling. Wasn't gonna make a video today, and honestly, I was I was hoping it would be a, a quick fix. But I uh hooked my gauges up and I don't have any freon up in here. No pressure, no pressure. I don't know if you can really see this. I be pointing out some of my stuff on the video and I see it'd be hard for y'all to see, but it's a lot of residue where you can see the oil just came on my finger. So maybe it's leaking right here. So I can take this out and seal it up. But I'm gonna do a thorough leak check because I'm suspecting it's leaking on the inside core also. So I got my nitrogen. Put some nitrogen in there. And uh, do electronic leak tech. It, every time I uh, try to use this thing here, batteries be low. So I went on and brought my stencil cord. I don't know if I need to replace that battery or what. So I'm going to make a video. I don't know how long it's going to be. It may be parts because I can't get number 12 minutes, I think, before I shut the camera off and start another video. Sometime he do it on his own. So we'll see how fast I can do this. All right, this is a real good leak detector right here. You can put it on high and low. So, but it's real, it's real warm in here. It's probably about 70, 75 degrees. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but got a lot of residue around this cylinder. Watch this right here. I don't know if you can see this refrigerant right here. Look at that oil. I just seen this. So the cylinder valve probably leaking around there somewhere. Or the TXV. Alright, well, shut this up. See it's already sensing back here, but. I think I need to put some nitrogen in there. Uh... That ain't got no pressure in here. It's coming from around here somewhere though. Licking in that coil. I think it's just leaking around the cylinder though. Or the TV. I'm gonna hit it with some nitrogen and put some soap bubbles on there so I can get a precise location.
I don't think they call lick. I think it's just up in here. So I'm, I need to put some pressure on there. So. I want to check around this vial. There's no pressure in there, so I'm not really gonna be able to pick it up with this, I don't think. It's in the air, though. So. These bad people though, hey, man, you gotta, you wanna get in this field, to me it's a good field, but you gotta, you gotta like your job, you gotta want the job, anything you do, anyway, you are, you should like to want to do it, you ain't necessarily gotta love it, that would be nice too, you should have to do something at least that you like to do though, or love it, I remember I said, I just wanted the opportunity to get in this field. And uh, well, about five, six years ago, I just made up my mind, whatever I do, I'm gonna do it each and every day the best of my ability, you know, and and that'll take you a long way. Say so even about working at McDonald's, I was gonna drop the best fries. Everybody gonna get hot fries. If I had to flip burgers, they, I was gonna put my all into it, you know. Get ready to equalize out. I'm putting about 100 PSI in here. Yeah, just, whatever you do though, just put your all into it, you know what I'm saying? Just enjoy doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm here on a Saturday. Playoff football about to start, I wanna watch, but that's a bummer, but at the same time, man, if you love what you're doing though, hey, it's just as fun as watching football to me, you know. But uh, like I say, man, this, this this here open door though, like I said, I got the opportunity about five or six years ago, and HVAC, this open doors, you gotta, you gotta just think about being a technician. There's so many different things that you can do in the HVAC field, you know. Um, like I'm a commercial group, we got an engineering department, you know what I'm saying? So even when I first started, you know, I'm thinking down the road, if I, you know, years down the road. So I started uh, taking engineering classes. You know, I'm in, I'm in like my sophomore year in engineering classes right now. And my job is offer me an intern position, you know, downstairs with the, with the engineering guys, which, which is called a green team, like energy efficient, you know, but they mechanical engineers. You know, you know that's what I've been taking. I work. Like I said, I work a lot of hours full time, but I take classes at night and on the weekend, you know. I've been doing that for like four four years. Can't take number one or two classes, but you know, I'm not in a hurry. I'm, I make good money what I'm doing, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm working hard at my job in the daytime, but I'm work, working, on, working on myself too, you know. Like I said, I got my, just got my contractor license um, uh, in my state. You know, so if anything ever happened, I got that in my back pocket. I can use, I, I don't have to illegally do any work. I can work for myself legally. So, uh, I mean, I just, just try to scribe though. You know, a lot of things out there we can be doing. You know, that's what I say. But like I say, HVAC, it's a big umbrella though. It's a lot of things in HVAC you can be doing. You can be a service manager, you can be a supervisor. I mean, you can do, be a project manager. As a whole, I'm talking about, and all of them pay well. Some six-figure income. You can be a salesman, those salesmen get paid good. You know, sell maintenance programs and stuff like that. Um, you know, sell energy efficient, be out, be out there selling big, big chillers. So once you get, once you get on, you know, you start being a technician, 
let the uh management know let the owners know if y'all have reviews and stuff like that i'm sure they ask you you know what's your future want to be and just, 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 you know just let them know and, and and get around those engineers get around those managers don't don't just hang out with the technicians all the time uh hang out with people you know that i ain't gonna say successful because if that's all you want to do be a technician that's fine too but just you know hang around people that are way smarter than you and make you feel uncomfortable you know uh if y'all have safety meetings and stuff like like that just tell them you want to you want to uh, teach a safety meeting, uh, a safety class or whatever, you know, when, when y'all meet up. You you put a PowerPoint up on, on there and, and, you know, just show the people that you want to grow, you know. Uh, tell you open doors, though. Let's say charger. So let me put some soap bubbles on there. <clears throat> but, yeah, though, I'm finding this leak right here. And uh, hopefully I can fix it. Cause sometimes, like it's real dry up here, but if, it, if it's a leak inside the U bins right here, can't fix that. And, and I think this cylinder is closed. I got a magnet, but I turn that fan back on and it should shoot that nitrogen through there. Yeah, get it just open up. 